is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. Uh, I literally have like dozens of new weapons and things that I want to cover and uh, yeah, it's just craziness. April update, man. It's crazy stuff. First thing we should talk about is fusion rifles. This here's the Susanoo and uh, it does work. I'm having a ton of fun on my Void Walker right now. Uh, nothing manacles buffed again they're back to their I think they're back to their original state um, but either way they they buffed them again so that's wonderful look at that look at that range from the air with the Susan new it um, fusion rifles they're good they're not great they're good I think the average fusion rifle quite honestly is still gonna be pretty inconsistent but uh, these sort of uh, fusion rifles that are on the higher end just watch this this is plan C now with this, this is not one hit range traditionally, but as of yesterday, check this out. If you side in and you aim at the ankles, it pretty much the spread will go ankle to head and land all those projectiles. Not every time, but if you uh, line up the shot right, and if your opponent is not moving whatsoever, <laughs> then you'll get it. But uh, long story short, these, uh, the better fusion rifles, like the Thies and the Susanoo, uh, Plan C, and uh, any other god rolled, you know, split shift or anything really that's got the, the, you know, the solid rolls on it, they're gonna be good. A lot of people running around with the vacancy. The vendor version Future War Call Fusion Rifle has a god roll. I mean, we're talking maximum stability. We're talking uh, extensive range on that thing. It's a monster, and I've seen a lot of them in the Crucible right now. And that just leads me to my first thing I want to say is that hey. I love the weapon diversity that's represented right now in the Crucible. I'm seeing tons of different loadouts. People are trying new things out, and I love it. Now, granted, we will probably settle into a new meta like we always do, and there are going to be weapons that rise to the surface like the cream that rises to the top. Um, yeah, that'll happen. But right now, people are having fun and experimenting. Well, not everybody. There are exceptions. But it's awesome. I love it. I'm using this hand cannon here. This thing is, um, I got it from one of my rep packages from Varix. And uh, it's actually not bad. It's a it's a high rate of fire, low, in, low relatively low impact hand cannon. But mine has uh, a ton of range on it. So it's super accurate. And it's got, um, you know, the bullets that make people shake and quake and be a little bit less accurate when you hit them with the heavy caliber rounds or whatever. So uh, I like it. It's not my favorite hand cannon in the world, but it's a fun, you know, just weapon to switch things up with. Void Walker, I'm having a blast. You know, Void Walker was my original baby in uh, in Destiny. It was my first class I ever played, and uh, you know, a lot of my year one content was Void Walker content. In fact, my first video that ever really blew up was my Void Walker uh, guide that I posted on YouTube that Bungie actually featured on uh, on their website. So, um, yeah, it's good to be back to use, look at that Blade Dancer. I mean, he was primed a little bit, but still, that's awesome. And the scatter nades are actually good. And uh, Embrace the Void, I, I've, I've heard, is phenomenal now. So, yeah, I, I, I'm just loving the new sense of discovery. It's amazing, it's a whole lot of fun. Now I will remind you, uh, fusion, with fusion rifles, you want to aim low. See, see how I aim for that guy's groin. Uh, obviously, it depends on how close you are, but see, I aim middle, uh, you know, center mass with that guy, and not all of the projectiles hit. I had to swap to my primary to finish them off. So, I know sometimes it's a little bit difficult to aim at a specific region of their body uh, when you have to sort of aim on the fly, and you know things are kind of chaotic. It's tough to you know point, just point it at their crotch. <laughs> Sometimes you just take the shot that you've got, uh, but if you've got the time to line up the shot properly, then uh, you know aim low, aim for that crotchal region, and you'll probably hit most of your projectiles. Here, this is my Year One Vanquisher. Now this thing is a monster. It's got glass half full. It's got feeding frenzy. It's got perfect balance on it. It's uh, it's wonderful. I, I really enjoy using it. It's actually really effective. I, I've had some pretty monstrous games with this thing, and uh, that's because they buffed. The, um, the lower rate of fire, higher impact, um, you know, variants of auto rifles. So it's great, just experimenting with uh, you know all these kinds of weapons. And uh, oh my gosh, I, I feel, I honestly feel overwhelmed. I'm like man, I have so many things I need to do in Destiny right now. It's crazy. 
Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, scatter to grenade. Scatter grenades actually killing people. It's crazy. So, um, anyways, I want to know what are you playing with right now? What are you enjoying using? There's so many things out there that people are. I, I've had so many messages in the last 24 hours. People are like, Ryan, you gotta try this, dude. You gotta try this. Pick this up. And I'm like, I can't. I don't have enough legendary marks for all this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got my year two Queen Breaker's Bow at 317. Pretty jazzed about that. It's um, pretty exciting stuff. Now, uh, in the middle of this, emotions are high. I have other good news. You probably don't care, but I do. Found out today that I'm having a baby girl. Found out the gender. Went to the ultrasound. That was exciting stuff. So, you guys know I've got a son. But now, I'm going to have a baby girl. I have a little princess to spoil the crap out of. It'll be great. I'm uh, really excited about that. And, uh, yeah, these are just fun times all around. So, uh, but we gotta cover other stuff. We gotta talk about things like, uh, Hawkmoon. We gotta talk about things like, uh, sniper rifles. Look at this, by the way. This is one scatter grenade. This dude gets a triple freaking kill with one scatter grenade. And if you looked at the kill feed, none of those were bloom kills. Not a single one. And here's me getting a double with them, with one, one, one of them's bloom. But these things are, uh, you know, potentially uh, yeah, game changers. These are great grenades again. Praise the lord that the Voidwalker is freaking relevant again. <laughs> but uh, Hawkmoon. Let's talk about Hawkmoon. Um, I've seen mixed reviews. I've heard some people say, Hawkmoon is back to being amazing. It's a Hawkmoon meta is what it's going to be. Um... Their experiences have probably been a little bit different than mine then, because my experience with Hawkmoon so far, and I've played several games with Hawkmoon, is, um, it, I would say that it's a lot better than it was, but it's nowhere near its year one status, where the thing was a monster, right? It's just, it's not that consistent yet, um, but I like where it's at. I think it's a, a balanced, exotic hand cannon. Which is saying something, because they've struggled with that in the past. But uh, I like where it is right now. I don't think it's god tier, like some people have said. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! I don't know that I'd go that far. It's it's great, and uh, that's what I'll say about the Hawk Moon. A little um, a little more consistent than it was, but still not its original state. But anyways, service regime. I like it. It's uh, in these big maps. Now here's the short gaze. It zooms in notice noticeably a little bit further. Okay. But the zoom isn't really the thing that I'm struggling with. Uh, I'm, I'm having to get used to the sluggishness of snipers again. Um, they feel slow. They honestly feel really slow. I'm used to using you know quick draw and snapshot exclusively on my uh, sniper rifle, save for defiance, Yasmin, and even then I've got injection mold. But um, they, they feel a little bit heavier and slower and sl more sluggish, which is kind of a bummer. But um, I think we'll adjust. We'll do just fine. Um, I have noticed in a couple of games, I mean, it really just depends on your lobby. I've seen some people that just sit in the back uh, who have completely ignored the objectives and just hard scoped. And uh, I think that that's a mental thing. I don't think that that's how it's always going to be. I feel like right now, by the way, what you're seeing right here is I, I, this is a new tactic of mine. I saved my super for the first wave of special ammo because it spawns in three minutes now. So that's, that's a good amount of time you got to wait. So I actually popped my golden gun when we were 12 seconds away from the first wave hitting, and I wiped the enemy team and picked up all but one special box around the map, and MTash picked up the, the fourth. So we controlled special uh, ammo entirely on that first wave, and that's a game changer. I feel like that's going to be a good tactic. You may want to save roaming supers for that, but anyways, crazy freaking stuff, guys. I love it. I love this new sense of discovery. I'm excited to see where the Crucible is going to go from here. Granted, we will fall into a meta of sorts where you're going to start seeing the same weapons, but one of the things I think they did intentionally is there's a lot of god-rolled uh, vendor weapons right now, and I think they did that intentionally. I think they made some really strong rolled weapons on purpose so that we're going to see a lot of variety and people trying out some of the god-rolled stuff instead of farming for them. But anyways, that's my opinion. Uh, really enjoying it? Let me know what you're enjoying right now. And uh, guys, I will catch you hopefully in the Crucible.